Hello everybody, welcome to S25. We are going to talk about Rahu's special yoga today and uh, what are the conditions when Rahu makes a quite excellent Raj Yoga or a Dhan Yoga for a person's chart means a good auspicious combination which provides uh, power, authority, success, business, uh, career growth, uh, status, fame, luxuries uh, and a good uh, lavish lifestyle, all these things. So. Rahu in certain situations can give these results. People have a misconception that Rahu is a malefic. It is an enemy planet and it does not give good results to anybody. It's not the case and that is what we are going to debunk today with the help of several uh, uh, example charts where we will understand that in the lives of those people, Rahu made them really successful what they are right now. So the thing here is that Rahu's special yoga that we are going to talk about today with the help of example horoscopes. So let's start this video. If you want to book a consultation for yourself, you can go on this website. The link is shown in description. So we are going to talk about Rahu's special Raj Yoga. Now, the condition is that Rahu whenever is in 2nd, 3rd, 6th, 7th, 10th or 11th house in anybody's chart and uh, the Lord of that sign means in which the Rahu is sitting, in which Rahu is sitting, the Lord of that sign should be strong and well placed and it is making association with Kendra or Trikona Lords or Rahu itself is making association with Kendra or Trikona Lords. So Kendra means 1st, 4th, 7th, 10th Lords and Trikona is 1st, 5th, 9th Lords and Rahu is sitting in these houses. Then Rahu is capable to give quite excellent results of Raj Yoga. Then you have to uh, judge the dispositor of Rahu like I said as well as the Nakshatra of Rahu, Nakshatra Lord of Rahu. So if Rahu is sitting in anybody's Rashi, so you have to see the Rashi Lord. And if anybody is Nakshatra, you have to see the Nakshatra Lord also that if that planet which is ruling the Nakshatra of Rahu that is also making good Yogas in Kendra or Trikona and with good planets, then Rahu gains strength, Rahu gains power and it will have full capacity to give excellent results to the person. Now, one additional thing that you have to keep in mind is the condition of the ascendant and ascendant lord. If the ascendant and ascendant lord are weak, let's suppose they are not well placed, they are losing the strength, they are afflicted, then irrespective of what planet, not only Rahu, all other planets will lose strength. You will not see expected results by any planet no matter how good they are, how exalted or uh, well pleased they are. So uh, the ascendant governs the inherent fundamental strength. So ascendant and ascendant lord must be strong in order to see full results of any planet. So these are the conditions if they are made by Rahu in the chart then understand that Rahu will be cap uh, fully capable to give excellent results to the person uh, regarding money, wealth, luxuries, power, assets, position, authority, career progress, business growth, uh, uh, status and it also is considered a very suitable situation for uh, uh, being in uh, politics also. We have to see other combinations but Rahu is a significator of politics. Now we will apply these principles in various horoscopes and we will see that how Rahu is bringing them excellent results in their life. So first chart here you can see is the chart of Shri Amitabh Bachchan. Uh, so he uh, in his case if you see it is a very famous horoscope. So Rahu is in 7th house in the sign of Leo and Rahu is ascendant lord along with Saturn. Now see Rahu is in 7th where Rahu gains power then Rahu is alone and the dispositor of Rahu is Sun. Now Sun is in conjunction with Venus, Mercury and Mars which are Kendra and Trikona lords for Aquarius ascendant and they are the benefits. Now the point here is that Rahu in 7th house is good that is why Rahu is bringing him all the kind of uh, uh, mass recognition and excellent fame and power and authority and everything but at the same time since 8th house is becoming prominent this uh, situation is not good for his health it creates ups and downs in career and that he faced in life. So 8th house is the house of fluctuations, transformations, changes, struggles so that he faced but ultimately no matter how uh, difficult the time was he ultimately regained, rebounced. So that is because the ascendant is strong, ascendant lord is strong and the eighth house itself is, uh, is strong in, in its uh, uh, nature. So that is why always the, the, the once he will go down he will bounce back furthermore. 
so that happened but if we strictly speak only about the condition of rahu rahu is bringing all these uh, uh, capacities to give excellent results regarding his career regarding his uh, uh, name and position what he achieved in his life and uh, rahu also shows the field of cinema rahu is entertainment and mass communication and media and acting so he is a uh, actor and rahu gave him that towering position so that is how rahu is functioning in his case now if you see another chart this is uh, the chart of indira gandhi miss indira Ga miss indira gandhi she was the uh, prime minister former prime minister of india now in her case <clears throat> if you see rahu is in sixth house with venus and venus and jupiter are exchanging the zodiac signs so if you look at the condition of rahu rahu in sixth as i said is considered a very good situation for rahu but Sixth house is a house of struggles, enemies, politics, challenges, uh, any kind of um, troubles to you, and uh, that she faced. But understand that with respect to her professional career, Rahu <coughs> gave excellent results. With respect to her family life, Rahu was really bad. So for family life, Rahu is not good. Whether it was uh, her marriage, it was her uh, uh, life before marriage, or for even for the kids. Uh, so her. Um, her children one child uh, died while she was while she was alive sanjay gandhi so why because rahu understand that it is a malefic also <laughs> for cancer ascendant and rahu is in sixth so it is it's in its it is in its nature to create challenges for the person but ultimately if we speak about the part of profession the part of career the part of name rahu gave all good results in life so rahu and venus and jupiter they are exchanging the zodiac signs so jupiter and venus are in relation by exchange hence venus jupiter rahu three planets are in relation now what will happen rahu is also looking at 10th house and 10th lord mars and uh, sixth house is very good for politics rahu is very good for politics so she faced enemies she faced backlash she faced all kind of problems in her times and uh, she was responsible for uh, the division of congress and that is uh, what happened that when she uh, uh, went alone making her own party faction and she gained this strength and everything everybody knows that but the point here is that sixth house shows that you will face challenges obstacles enemies hidden enemies uh, any kind of uh, difficulties and then you will overpower them in order to be victorious now Jupiter, all that happened in Jupiter Dasha. She became the Prime Minister for the first time in 1966, Jupiter Mahadasha. Now see that Jupiter is in relation with Venus and Rahu by exchange. And Jupiter is a benefic, a strong planet for Cancer Ascendant. Ninth Lord in the 11th house, that to Vargottam and in Pushkaramsha, very powerful. Then the Ascendant is a strong, the Ascendant Lord Moon is looking at the Ascendant and it is in exchange with Saturn. So this is again not good for her mother and for her personal life and marriage, but for the power and position because Saturn is what? Elections. Saturn is masses serving the people in democracy. That is Saturn. So all that gave him the power. But for her, they ruined the personal life. That is separate. But this is how Rahu is uh, giving results in her case. Next, if you see uh, the chart of Mahatma Gandhi. So in his case, you see Rahu is in 10th house with 10th Lord Moon. Ascendant Lord again is very powerful uh, in the uh, in the Lagna, Venus. So uh, Rahu Dasha in his case went from 1921 to 1939 and majority of the things that happened in India regarding independence and everything, uh, they, they were happening before that. But in uh, Mahatma Gandhi's time in his life, uh, he uh, saw majority uh, results during Rahu Dasha while he was fighting the war of independence in India along with other leaders. So the thing here is that how Rahu gave him that pinnacle of success, that level of power and gain over masses that what he says at that time everybody is going to follow. That image, Rahu gave that. So Rahu was from 1921 to 1939 so uh, in his case rahu is again very powerful now this is the chart of margaret thatcher so she was the prime minister of england and uh, in her case again rahu is in 10th house if you look at rahu's nakshatra lord that is saturn it is exalted in the ascendant with mercury making a very strong raj yoga and dhan yoga by kendra and trikon lord sitting together then rahu is alone in 10th and for libra ascendant venus saturn mercury rahu are friends they are naturally beneficial for libra now Rahu is in 10th 
and it is in the sign of cancer again the sign of power position aristocracy serving the masses all these things and the lord of rahu that is moon it is in leo now moon is government leo is again administration government so they are bringing that element and for the first time she became the prime uh, prime minister of england in 1979 and rahu saturn dasha was running so rahu mahadasha saturn antardasha rahu gave her that position for the first time during its time period and the antardasha of saturn in 1979 may approximately she became the prime minister so in her case you can see how rahu is functioning now this is a chart of george w bush he became the president former president uh, uh, of us became president for the first time in uh, january 2001 now again who was running saturn rahu so saturn rahu dasha during that time he became the president for the first time of us so in his case if you see rahu is exalted in 11th house of gains and rahu uh, means nakshatra lord is mars which is first of all a yoga karak planet for cancer ascendant well placed in second house the lagna lord is strong because lagna lord is moon in conjunction with jupiter which is the uh, friend of jupiter a uh, friend of moon and jupiter is ninth lord also so moon is, lagna lord is strong yoga karak means the dispositor nakshatra lord of rahu that is well placed and the dispositor of rahu venus is in the ascendant it is the lord of kendra and trikona so saturn and uh, uh, sorry sitting in trikona lord of kendra sitting in trikona so saturn and venus fourth lord seventh lord 11th lord together in the ascendant and where venus is well placed it is a benefic so benefics uh, play uh, means they they function well in kendra houses now uh, saturn rahu was the first time when he became the president so in his case also you can see that rahu and in navamsha also rahu is well placed in 11th in virgo so thing matches next this is the chart of donald trump so again a very famous chart if you see <coughs> rahu is in 10th exalted in conjunction with sun which is the ascendant lord and uh, sun gains directional strength in 10th house even though this is a, a grahana yoga eclipse but understand that sun is uh, uh, far further away from rahu huh? so degree wise it is higher than rahu and at the same time the lord means the nakshatra lord of rahu is mars which is a yoga karak planet for leo ascendant well placed in the lagna powerful then the lord of rahu that is venus is lord of 10th in conjunction with saturn which is 7th and venus is virgottam venus is in cancer in the sign of uh, cancer it becomes virgottam and in pushkaramsha same sign in navamsha and in the ascendant gains power but at the same time venus saturn is considered a good combination for attaining power and authority and leadership in life no matter what field so venus saturn is a good combination for serving the society serving the people serving i am not talking about how you serve that but it is a power giving combination so venus saturn are together and same combination was repeating in george bush chart as well so uh, this is how they are functioning in uh, these horoscopes and this is the last chart of shahrukh khan in his case rahu is in 10th house again in the sign of taurus exalted the lord of this uh, uh, taurus is venus mutual aspect with jupiter making a very powerful dhan yoga and <clears throat> he entered into uh, field of entertainment during rahu dasha gained wide success during jupiter dasha understand that jupiter is in nakshatra of rahu jupiter is mahadasha it started from 92 went till 2008 what he achieved everything was in jupiter dasha but during jupiter if you see jupiter obvi uh, <coughs> obviously is a very good planet for leo but at the same time it is giving results of rahu as well so because it is in the nakshatra of rahu so rahu gave uh, rahu is very good for entertainment and cinema and mass fame and everything so rahu gave that and ascendant is powerful who is ascendant lord sun even though it is debilitated but it is in full neej bhanga neej bhanga this is not good for his health but it is supportive and parents but at the same time it is supportive for his career so we saw the condition of rahu in various example charts and uh, why these people they saw uh, meteoric rise during rahu's dasha or planets who were associated with rahu so <clears throat> uh, from now on i think you will be able to uh, see properly that rahu and other malefics they are not always negative and they don't always give bad results if they are sitting in good positions and they are making good yogas they give ample rise to the person as well 
so uh, so that is all uh, regarding rahu's special yogas uh, today in this video if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my website facebook page instagram the links are provided in description otherwise we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank you